Uh, we start with that breaking news. Ryan Routh, the suspect in the second assassination attempt against former President Trump, has now released a letter um, talking about what he was doing that day. This is a written note submitted as part of the government filing today. Routh says, quote, dear world, this was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump, but I am so sorry I failed you, adding that he believes Trump is unfit to be anything, much less a president. He is expected in court uh, within the next couple of hours for a pre-trial detention hearing. Routh is facing two federal gun charges. More serious charges are possible as federal investigators scour his electronics and other evidence. Here now is Dave Ehrenberg, state attorney for Palm Beach County, Florida. Pretty shocking message in this handwritten letter now coming out from the suspect in this case. Uh, what do you make of this, Dave? That's real news, Marnie, for a few reasons. First, it means that he's not getting bond today. He's going to be stuck in pretrial detention until the trial. Also, it means now it's more likely that at some point the feds will charge him with something more serious than this current charges, perhaps attempted assassination of a former president, perhaps attempted murder of a major presidential candidate, because the biggest uh, obstacle was proving his intent and just the fact that he was stopped by Secret Service before he can get a shot off, even though that was a good thing, that actually works against prosecutors trying to establish this guy's intent. Well, he just made his confession, and that's going to come back to haunt him because now I do think it makes it more likely that the feds could charge him more serious crimes. So this is going to work against him in various ways. And another way is that it undermines his insanity defense. I think that probably was going to happen, that he was going to use an insanity defense if this ever goes to trial. But the words he used shows that he knew what he was doing. This was premeditation. This was thought out. This wasn't just a guy just decided to do something crazy. He didn't know the difference between right and wrong. He's apologizing for not doing it and hoping someone else does it. And then he fled. So it looks like he did know that what he did was wrong and against the law. So this letter really hurts him in many ways. Right. And it's really dangerous, Dave, because he says not only did I fail you, but he's offering a reward for anybody who can finish the job. How alarming is this now for the general public and for former President Trump and his team, along with the Secret Service? Well, this guy clearly is a loon. I mean, he really has some serious mental health issues. Doesn't mean he's legally insane under the law. You have to not know the difference between right and wrong. But, you know, there's a report out today that when he was over in Ukraine, he kicked a homeless person, has no empathy, he's a sociopath. Uh, people are coming forward and uh, describing their experiences with him. So, yeah, no, his elevator doesn't go to the top floor, but it doesn't mean he's insane. And as far as protecting the former president, yeah, the, the protection is going to have to be stepped up, especially as it gets closer to the election. Uh, the golf course where he golfs has some holes in the trees, and, and you can have a sort of a uh, more of a direct view of the former president when he's golfing. Now, fortunately, here you have the Secret Service who came and saw this guy before a tragedy happened. They're the ones who opened fire, according to all reports, not the suspect. So the Secret Service here really did their job. What's going to happen, Dave, in court now, and especially given this new development? Well, today he's going to ask for a bond. I don't know if they can do so with a straight face because this guy clearly represents a serious danger to the community. I think he's also a flight risk. I mean, after all, after he tried to do this crime, he took off a 995. So I think that there is a zero chance that the federal magistrate will give him pre-trial release. He is not going to be let out on bond. I'd be shocked if it happened. And then I'll have his arraignment a week later where he'll plead not guilty, and then it will move towards trial unless there's a plea agreement. Now, in the meantime, I do expect that the feds will add on perhaps some additional charges, including the charges we've discussed earlier, based on this note. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.